Aragul is a scent or a smell. Uh, we turn it into a verb or a verb noun by adding e, arogli, which means to smell. Now, in northern dialects, ogle or ogla uh, means both to smell as well as smells. So it can be used as both a, a, a verb or a plural noun. Um, you'll also hear oglea uh, for to smell as well, which is um, not too common, but it can be heard. Down south, guinta is a little bit more common, and it derives from gwint, wind, um, so it probably shares its roots in with the English word vent. So guinta means to smell. Now, that caused a problem for me when I had a little baby, and uh, my wife would say, Nadi winter babby. And I wasn't sure whether she wanted me to wind him or smell his nappy. Um, that one, that one confused me a little. I needed clarification quite a few times on that one. Another cool thing about these smells is that in Welsh we hear them. Yep, you heard that right. Nesti glowed er aroglna. Did you hear that smell? But did you smell that smell? Nesti glowed er agorl. I can't even speak myself. Nesti glowed er aroglna. That's why I say Nesti glowed er oglena. It's easy to say. Finally, drewi or drewllid is how you describe something as being smelly or stinky or something like that. So, teen drewi, you smell or you stink. See, I inform and I arm you with Welsh weapons to crush your opponents. Croeso, you're welcome.